Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So unless you have been sleeping under a rock, you have probably already seen the new videos OpenAI has released of the AI creating videos from nothing. And how insanely good they have become. They are not perfect yet, but have become very good. And especially if we compare them to where we were just one year ago, we saw this weird video of Will Smith's eating spaghetti. And I think most people thought it would be a decade before we would see anything useful from AI. But as I have tried to explain in a couple of other videos about Tesla AI, is that AI learns exponentially. And why I think Tesla getting to this point where the FSD system is 100% controlled by AI is a huge deal. But to hammer the point home on how fast all of this is going, I am not even speaking to you now. What you are hearing right now is AI generated as well. It is my voice that has been AI generated. So I thought it would be fitting to let my AI voice tell you about how all this AI that is exploding up around us and why this is so important to understand to understand why Tesla is leading the way in many aspects in AI FSD and robotics so if you think I sound a bit different in today's episode you know why and let's dive right in So the video of OpenAI's Sora was just released last week and was kind of mind-blowing. They were not 100% perfect yet, but when we look at what AI could make of video just one year ago, we can see the incredible improvement it has done. And it is really the pace of improvement that is mind-blowing. For the last year, we have seen just how good ChatGPT has gotten at writing articles, scripts, and so much more, already disrupting writers, as ARK Invest also shows in their big ideas 2024, where they showed that the cost decline for generating written material has fallen off a cliff thanks to large language models like ChatGPT and many others. Over the past year, the cost has declined 10,000 fold in a year. At the same time, AI video generation went from a joke to holy shit what just happened. And we have seen Doll make pictures that have been unbelievable lifelike, making it possible for even a small YouTuber like myself to get images of things I just dream up and ask an AI program to generate for me. And we don't have to go back many years before this was not the case. And these AI tools still make mistakes, but together with a human, that is where the true magic still happens. So we are all already at a place where you will be left behind if you don't use AI tools in some jobs. But what I really want to focus on in this video is the pace of improvements, AI's very steep learning curve, because that's why I'm so bullish on Tesla's FSD version 12, because now it is truly 100% AI controlling the car. And I talked about before how AI has exponential growth. I think that point has come through to most people now that AI learns incredibly fast. Thanks to OpenAI's ChatGPT and others, but what people seem to not really get is that Tesla is also an AI company that has a specialized in how supercomputers built to train its AI to drive their cars. And everything is now set up and ready. The only thing they need now is data. And that is also why Tesla doesn't mind making huge discounts on their cars. Because like I talked about many times before, the most valuable thing for Tesla Tesla's cars is the data they collect because the car business itself is going to be dwarfed when Tesla solves full self-driving. So the more cars Tesla gets on the road, the better because the more data Tesla gets and the faster they will solve full self-driving and open up one of the biggest value creations in human history. So it is completely irrelevant that Tesla's margin has been low compared to two years ago. The amount of money Tesla will earn on full self-driving will be in an order of magnitude higher than what Tesla will ever be able to do on selling cars, even if 
they should ever get to 20 million cars sold. So I really don't think it's a matter of if, but when Tesla has solved it with the architecture they have set up now, and no one else has anything like this when it comes to full self-driving. And we have seen GM with their crews backing down again, and Ford and VW collaboration got shot down as well. So I really don't see much competition in this race for a general solution that can drive a car anywhere other than maybe some Chinese companies. But Tesla already has the scale of production ready and makes full self-driving cars for a fraction of the price of anyone else. And this will make Tesla far superior to anyone else out there. And the brain Tesla is working on with their full self-driving cars is the same software they are working on with their humanoid robot. So Tesla is not just making the robot, but making the brain as well. That is not being programmed, but taught how to do things. And we have seen just how fast Tesla moves with the robot, even just in the hardware part, from the first Bumblebee version to the Gen 2 version of Optimus. So it should be a much easier task to teach a humanoid robot to do a simple task in a factory where the environment is always the same and it only has to learn like a little square of a factory. It doesn't have to learn to navigate the whole world just yet. So I think we will see humanoid robots doing useful work in Tesla's factories much faster than what it had taken Tesla to get to full self-driving cars, as that is a much harder task to solve. And we are starting to see humanoid robots pop up everywhere. We have Tesla's Optimus that came out of nowhere within a couple of years. Then we have Figure that is also making humanoid robots and Sanctuary that is also working on making humanoid robots. And we have just seen the Norwegian company 1X showing off their robots, which also operate on 100% neural networks, but are using wheels and clipper hands, but are also working on making human-like hands and legs. So to me, this is a very good sign that the time to be working on a humanoid robot is now, as many of the technologies are coming together and many companies are working on the same things. Humanoid robots, neural networks and learning from video. And then Tesla and Elon Musk's other private AI company XAI will just keep working on the neural network getting closer and closer to something truly intelligent. And the speed of all these AI programs and large language models are just coming out faster and faster. Just look at how fast XAI was able to create Grok, the AI system for the X platform also built on a large language model. Elon founded XAI in March 2023 and in November they had Grok available to a selected few. And just remember that ChatGPT was launched in November 2022, less than one and a half years ago. So just two years ago, we did not have all of these AI programs helping us out. The pace is simply just mind-blowing and when looking at OpenAI's new videos and looking back just one year to see the difference. I can hardly imagine how good this will be in just another year. What is real and what is not is going to be very hard to differentiate between within this decade or even within the next couple of years. And people often forget how far ahead Tesla is in this game. As Elon replied to Dr. Know-it-all's post on X. Tesla has been able to do real-world video generation with accurate physics for about a year. It wasn't super interesting because all the training data came from the cars, so it just looks like video from a Tesla, albeit with a dynamically generated, not remembered world. So Tesla can already do what OpenAI's Sora is doing. But the difference is just Tesla training sets come from its vehicle cameras and therefore the world it is greeting looks just like the eight cameras from the Tesla. But I would not be surprised if XAI or Grok came out with something like OpenAI Sora by the end of the year. As Elon also wrote on X, we have been short on training compute for full self-driving, so haven't trained with other videos but certainly could. We'll do it later this year when we have some spare capacity. So Tesla's AI is capable of a lot more than just driving our cars. And Tesla is already deep into AI and training neural networks. And we will see a lot more coming out over the next couple of years. But I think people are underestimating that Tesla full self-driving software is also 100% AI controlled now. The pace of the improvement here will probably only accelerate from here on out. And autonomy could be closer than most people think. 
think. I think 2024 is going to be a very interesting year. So many are talking about it being a boring year for Tesla, but I think it will be a very good year for Tesla because of all the things we will see from Optimus full self-driving and Tesla's AI in general. But I don't think Wall Street is ready for it. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.